eruption by the end of the month. Uh, if it doesn't happen, the magma may have solidified. Uh, the situation we started when we had a swarm of the earthquakes in the mid to late October and a blooming of the huge amounts of the earthquake by the November 10. It created cracks and the steam and gases were coming out in the town of the Grindavik. The town was evacuated. People were leaving the town because it was unsafe. The structures were damaged, roads were damaged. So to avoid the confusion and being trapped, people safely were transported out. Uh, part of the Grindavik was rising with the plus sign I show it, and the part of it was sinking that showed there is a graben forming. It's a kind of a structure when the two fault lines controlling the central part move away, the central parts fall, and through that, if it is a magma somewhere present, we may have eruption. This is the dike or seal which was forming in the, under the Grindavik to the Swartzengi power station, and the magma was present there, at the depth of five to uh, five kilometers to five hundred meters, and it was ready to erupt if it was able to get more supplies, more magma from the depth. If we had another storm of the earthquake, it was able actually to flow upward, move upward between the cracks of the rock and erupt in this fashion, a very explosive. Or a gentle way, like what we saw in the Little Hotel. This is the style of Little Hotel, most probably. At the moment, we don't have the uh, those kind of uh, signals for the boiling of the magma, and it's quite possible that if it doesn't happen by the end of the month, magma will solidify within the dark, within the cracks and fault lines of the graben. It takes a few weeks just to solidify. Uh, but it will be hot for many, many years after that. And uh, the situation until the end of the month will be a clear cut to see what has happened.